Hey, I'm Cesar from Chatwith. Today we want to give you a full demo about how to make an AI agent for support for your clients using WordPress. Let's say you manage different WordPress websites for your clients and you want to give them support. So we have done a widget with AI that can be displayed inside your WordPress admin section. So we'll be here. So your customers can ask you for support and you will respond using AI. So this is going, I think we think this is going to be, you know, great for you in terms of, you know, support, creating a better experience for your customers, making your customers happy, giving you, you know, a cool tool for your users, you know, in terms of support. So we are going to see everything step by step. So I will make uh, notes in the comments so you can go straight to the point you want to, to see, like how to set up FAQs, how to set up AI bot, how to set up the widget in the admin panel. So we are going to go like slowly, step by step, so you can see everything and you can have, you know, the best tool for you. This is included in your subscription. This is unlimited. This is, you know, uh, you don't need to pay more. You don't need to pay an extra fee, nothing. If you have an account with us, you have this tool unlimited for as many websites as you need. Okay, so let's go for it. First, let's set up a widget. We go here. Uh, I think the best way to do, this, to do this is you create a new widget just for support. Okay, the widget can be as you want. Uh, I think the we, I have done a design that is very minimal. So you can see here the, the button is, is really tiny, support in gray. So when you are here, when you are in the in the in the back office, you know the button is just very subtle, so it's not it's not a crazy button. This button is going to be everywhere. You see, the, if wherever you go in the admin section, the button is going to be there. Okay, so this is like a nice add-on for your customers when they when they go to WordPress to see the uh, support button. So this is gray. We can change the color here. The color is you know I put it gray here. I put the button not to be open. I uncheck this option. If you check this option, what happens is the widget is going to be very big, okay? And I think that can be, you know, a bit annoying for your customers. So I think a better configuration is, is you know, a gray color and, and check this option. So the widget is going to be there, but it's going to be close. And I think we can even change the animation. Let's go to the design section. So we can change the animation to known or fade, for example. So the, the button is going to just appear. So very subtle, you know, because, you know, in the admin section, you know, you need to be, you know, like super subtle, no, no crazy stuff. I, I think even the fade animation is crazy. So let's put none. So the button is just there. So, you know, when, when they go, they see the button and that's it. And if they move, the button is there, you know, no crazy stuff, no? Very simple, easy. Okay, so button widget is set up. Now let's do the AI part. How you do AI content for your widget. Let's go to the agent, let's go to FAQs, and here is where we can upload content or you know provide a link for the widget to extract data. You can add different uh, URLs, you can write your content, and this is going to be the content for the AI bot to reply. So this is done and you can you can update this as as you know as many times as you need so you can come here if you see a question that is not being answered you can add the content so this is for you to work you know in a regular basis so this is the data so when the user come here uh, how to add a photo to my post now the bot is going to reply okay and the your user is going to understand you know how to do it you know how to upload a photo to WordPress. So I think this is, you know, I think this is the best way to, you know, for you to provide support to your users. Uh, every question that is being answered here is going to be logged here. Okay, here you're going to have all the questions and, you know, uh, you can see what the users are asking. Anyway, well, uh, if there is something that is not in the feed, you will see here like uh, is not answered and, and you can provide a better question. So this is the data that is uh, that is in the AI agent, and this is the questions the users are asking. So you can check, you know, what's happening. And here, as I mentioned, you can upload or you can add new content manually. Okay. So AI bot 100% done. This is you can test it, ready to go. 
So let's go and install the widget in the WordPress website. Uh, we go to the we go to the widget, we take the code, and now we go to WordPress. What happens in WordPress? We have update the plugin for WordPress. So now you can you know you can go to the to our website and you can download this new plugin. The plugin is here. It's free. It's included in your subscription. You know this is for you to to use it. When you install the plugin, you see all these options. This is for you. This is for the front end of WordPress to install. And this is the back end part. This is the add widget for internal use. Here, you should put the code of the widget. Once you do it, the widget is going to be here. So this is done. So the same, very easy. The widget is going to be displayed in the back end. Users can start using it. So very simple, very easy to, to set up and you only need to do it in here, okay? Add widget for internal use. This widget, of course, you can add a flow as you want. So you have the FAQs, but if someone wants to, you know, schedule a meeting for support, you can do it. This is, or if you don't want to use the bookings, you can use just a form. The widget can be set up as you want. You can add a bookings, you can add a simple click to chat, you can add a form to capture the request and you can send it to WhatsApp or email. This is for you to do it as, as you want. So widget is done, AI is set up, widget is installed. So now you have, we think, a cool you know, widget for support inside uh, WordPress. Uh, this is, you know, again, this is the, the plugin you need to download. When you go to, if you are inside your account, if you go to WordPress resources here, you will go to this section and here you will see the, the new plugin. So it's just right there. So we think this is, I hope you like it. I hope this makes sense for you. Please send us feedback, send us ideas, send us, you know, how you want this to, to happen, how you want this to behave, how you want this widget to, you know, to be used. And of course we will keep adding improvements and we will keep adding, you know, new features for you to have the best, you know, tool for support for your customers inside WordPress. So you can, you know, become a better agency, a better, you know, a developer, a better, because at the end, no feedback from customers is key. Feedback from users is something that is really important. So making, you know, that process easy, I think is great. Of course, you can connect the widget and the form to your, you know, system support. If you have some type of tool for, you know, for your tickets not to be generated or you want or you need some type of uh, you have some, you know, send desk system or something like that. Of course, you have integrations. You can use the webhook and you can send the data of the ticket to your system. So this is another way for you to funnel requests from from customers into your system. But, you know, it's a nice cool, uh, you know, widget to have in your, you know, WordPress backend. Hope you like it. As I mentioned, it's included AI support, widget support, everything as you as you want. I mean, obviously, if you don't want the AI part, you can just you know skip it and just put a, a widget, and that will be it. So you will capture you know tickets from customers from WordPress using the using the widget. Okay. Well, hope you like it. Thank you. Bye bye.